After seven long months, our team has reached Mars. Because of a very thin atmosphere though, our spacecraft is currently falling at a speed of 7,800 miles per hour. So we need a way to slow it down and keep our crew safely inside upon impact. To design our lander, we're gonna use the engineering design process. Engineers use this to solve a problem. First, they learn everything they can about the problem. Then they brainstorm different solutions. From their ideas, they pick some to build and test. Engineers rarely get it right the first time, so they try and try again. After they fail, they learn from the test and create a better solution. Failure is an important part of the engineering process. Luckily for us, NASA has some experience landing on Mars. Check out this video on the seven minutes of terror on how NASA landed the Curiosity rover. Entry descent and landing, also known as EDL, is referred to as the seven minutes of terror because we've got literally seven minutes to get from the top of the atmosphere to the surface of Mars, going from 13,000 miles an hour to zero in perfect sequence, perfect choreography, perfect timing, and the computer has to do it all by itself with no help from the ground. It, if any one thing doesn't work just right, it's game over. We slam into the atmosphere and develop so much aerodynamic drag our heat shield, it heats up and it glows like the surface of the sun, 1,600 degrees. During entry, the vehicle is not only slowing down violently through the atmosphere, but also we are guiding it like an airplane to be able to land in a very narrow constraint space. This is one of the biggest challenges that we are facing and one that we had never attempted on Mars. Mars is actually really hard to slow down because it has just enough atmosphere that you have to deal with it. Otherwise, it will destroy your spacecraft. On the other hand, it doesn't have enough atmosphere to finish the job. We're still going about 1,000 miles an hour. So at that point, we use a parachute. And now it is our turn to land on Mars. Your mission is to design and build a space lander to land your crew safely on the surface of Mars. Astronauts are gonna be represented by a ping pong ball and our lander will be a cup. We're also gonna tape a half sheet of paper on the bottom. What would happen if we just drop our lander now? Well, it's gonna pop out. So we need to think of a way to slow down this lander and absorb the force of impact. In this challenge, the constraints are, you can only build below the lander. Nothing can be inside, nothing on top. Something to keep in mind is air resistance or drag. Do you remember that from the last mission? To slow something down, you want to create more drag or friction from the surrounding air. Which of these do you think will drop faster? Well, the ball will drop faster because it has less friction from the air while the sheet appears to float down. Now let's talk about shock absorption. I want everybody to stand up right now. Everybody get up. What you're going to do is jump on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three, jump. Okay. Now I'm going to have you try it again, but this time you're going to lock your knees in place, but be careful. Don't jump too high. So lock your knees when you jump on the count of three. One, two, three, jump. All right, have a seat. Did you notice the difference? Your knees are there to absorb the shock. That's why they bend when you jump. And when you locked your knees, it was probably a little painful. And that's something we can consider when we create our lander. How can we use the concept of shock absorption? Another idea is springs in a mattress, right? When you jump up and down on your bed mattress, it is absorbing that shock of you jumping. So those are all things that you can apply to your lander. So let's get to work designing and building, and I will see you on the surface of Mars. Mission Control, signing off.